Well, now we get to do it. Now we get to make that famous eggnog that you all have had so many times over at Ronald's. Today we're going to do it a little differently than we did before because we always make gallons of it over there. We're only making, we're only making a small amount today and we're only making one kind. The kind with the magic elixir in it, you know? Well, if you don't, that's the one for the adults. That's the ones back there in the back room. Yes, sir. Now, we're not making it for the children today. It's just you and me, and so we're both being adults. Don't have to worry about not having any of that magic elixir, which we do keep around here from time to time. Now, we're going to start. We started with, just like we always do, with a commercial eggnog. We don't tell anybody that. That's our secret. So we start out with about a quart of commercial egg. And we realize we got to make that a little better than it was. So we have a little bit of egg yolk to make it what it should be. And all that takes is just taking the egg yolks, which I've already broken for you because I always want to get the. I always look so messy when I'm separating eggs on food. Just terrible. But not when I'm doing it behind your back. Now, you're going to discover that while I'm doing all this, there are a lot of things you can be doing too. You know, like uh, supporting art and film. Yes, sir, while I'm doing this, you can get out that old checkbook or get on your computer and make a little donation. Now, now we're down to a point where we need to do some things to make this taste better. Now, we always add a little bit of cinnamon. I say a little bit of cinnamon. We had quite a bit of cinnamon. Let's see, there's my... Oh, we just use a smaller one, aren't we? <laughs> we'll just use more of them. There's him. There's... Oh, that's about right. Well, it tastes like something. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is half the secret of doctoring it up. Oh, you add a little dash of salt, too. You always add a little dash of salt to anything sweet. Then, you take a little bit of the magic elixir, and you put it in with the cinnamon. Now, there's a reason for doing this. What happens here is that when you put the magic elixir in with the cinnamon, it dissolves the cinnamon, and you don't have these little bubbles bloating up on the top of it, looking like, oh, I don't know, a teenager's face, whatever. Um, so we, we, we do this. We've been doing this for a long time. You know, Isaiah and I have been, been tasked with making this for so many years now. That, ha ha! That's the cinnamon problem taken care of right there. Now, how's that? Oh, does that look good? And you see, it's all dissolved. All dissolved. There's just you no know, little pimples on the face of this baby. Nothing. It's so good. Now, that's looking pretty good. So the next thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to whip some cream. Now while I'm whipping cream, you just whip out that checkbook and write that check. Yes, sir, Bob. We're going to need a lot of cream. We always need a lot of cream in this thing. That certainly is going to help us a lot here. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's going to make this a whole lot better. Mmm. Yum. Yeah. Now, the next thing, now that we've got this together, we need to add a little more elixir. Always need to add a little more elixir. Yes, sir. Reed, By the time we get to, there'll be enough magic elixir in here to make it taste real good. Now, you see, we're, 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 we're whipping these egg whites up 
so that they're going to be just nice and frothy, but they're going to be soft peaks. They're not going to be hard peaks because you don't want hard peaks. This is this is not meringue. This is going to be on top of your egg. Not to make it pretty. Eureka! Oh, I bet you thought that was never going to get done. You can just cut through this, you know, and and just pretend it really wasn't this bad. Now, pour this on top. Like so. And we take our nutmeg and we go like this. Oh, you got, and you need a lot of nutmeg too. You just don't, you want it to taste. And it's so good. It's so fragrant. It just makes everybody happy and it makes Makes them feel like it's the holidays, you know? There's nothing like nutmeg. And now, and now, it's time for me to fix you a little something. And here, my dear, is the top of the season for you. And... Happy 12th night.